Hello everyone, this is our next video of IPsec VPN configuration series. Today video we will perform the debugs on the Palo Alto firewall. Let's say you are in one situation where you are not able to resolve the problem on the Palo Alto. So we can perform the debugs. So before performing the debugs, I understand you have taken the required captures. You verified the configurations like a policy configurations, net configurations and now still you are not able to find any issues related to the firewall then we can go with the debugs so debugs is the very deep drive troubleshooting related to the firewalls so where we can see the exactly packet processing of the even firewalls related to the vpns what i have did i just log into my palo alto firewall using the SSH. So before I go with start with the debugs, I will give you some two commands. So these two commands are required when let's say you are in a situation where you are not able to initiate any kind of traffic from your side or from the remote side. So you can initiate traffic for phase one and phase two from your Palo Alto firewall to bring the tunnel up and this command we also called as the two test commands. So let's start with the test VPN. This is the command. Ike SA. And now if you press the question mark, you will get the gateway again. And here you will you have to time the gateway name. You can find on the GUI of the file firewall. Now let's in enter. So after press the enter, we can see we have initiated one IKESA one. Same process we can do for the phase two also test VPN IPsec SA, and now we have to select the tunnel and tunnel report. So now we initiated a phase two also. Okay, this is the IPsec SA. So this is command is useful uh, when you are trying to bring tunnel forcefully. So these two things are required. Now let's begin with the debugs. How we can turn on the debug process? The command will be the debug ik tunnel. And now here you have to type the tunnel name. So I did the question mark and now turn with the 14. So here we have uh, options to clear turn, clear the tunnel statistics of the debug on the debug. So we will go with the on and here we will see what type of logs we want. We want to debug, error, normal, warning. So I am going with the debug now. Now my debug is on. We can see the messages debug for IPsec tunnel with Fortinet is enabled. So how we can check it so for that all ipsec debug related output will be stored on the ikmgr file ikmgr file where we can see the debug so let's try to access the ikmgr file so what i am doing with the tail command follow us means the change in the file we are looking it. Otherwise, we can open this file using less command. But as of now, I am opening with the tail. I want to see the change in the file. Which and this is the MP log. So manage MP log. And now where we will type the IKMGL. So now we can see the IK debug. So this is the actual processing of the VPNs on the firewall side. So information is there, is SPI is generated, this is the SPI and this is the SAD protocol, PFS is sent. Now what I will do, I will just quickly on the, I will try to reset the tunnel, let's see what we get. Yeah, if, if I reset, I have received the lot of logs now. Add value of length of this 10. What after resetting, we can see the 
SA's SPI has been deleted. SPI, ESP, SPI has been deleted. Processing occurring of X1 and now negotiation is started. Initiator. And this is the update. So every information which if you want to troubleshoot more on the deep level then you can start with the debox. So they are doing the generating 450 qubits. This is the PF key updated generated ESP tunnel. Let's go with that and now we'll reset the phase 2 as well. What definitely we will now we have get something also. So this is the one way to debug. Now we can do the other thing also. Just now I, just now I performed debug of the tunnel. So in this file we can say whatever processing has been performed by the firewall it is on the IKMGR file. We can access those file using tail command. Now for the demonstration I will instead of on I will off this. Now if you see debugging for IP6 tunnel is disabled. So it is confirmed that debug has been dis disabled. Please note that turn on the debugs for the longer time. It causes the performance impact. If you are not a uh, familiar with the Palo Alto in the deep drive then don't perform this action. You can take help from the Palo Alto tag. Otherwise, if you are familiar with the features and functionality, then you can perform with the debugs. It's a resource consumptive, resource consuming and uh, highest traffic environment if you are initiating the debugs, it can create a problem as well. Now, I will try to initiate the debug also with the another gateway level debugs. Here I will say the gateway and now we will type the terminal. Again, same process, we have to select the on and then debug. Now if we can see debug is enabled, again we have to go the same file tail follow. Yes, we have, we want a change of the mplog file, then mplog and then ikmgl. Again initiated with the test. Let's do the reset of the tunnel again so we can see the sub changes as well. So these are the high overview of performing the debugs and it is required let's say you are not able to understand the what is the CV after resetting we can clearly see the debugs happens has begun has computed begin encryption encryption method is test with key 92 bytes data send dpd u3 send has ticket has computed so lot of things we can check so we can uh, apply the filters using 2404 just like i applied rescheduling it so this is the two types of the debugs the first is the tunnel level debugs and second is the gateway debugs and also we have a one command where we can see what are the debugs are in active as of now ik global show so if you we can see we have a one debug is enabled which is the tunnel with 14 and gateway debug is enabled ik debug ik global show and debug ik global we can turn on it off. Also, we can turn off the using that way we just started. So debug IK gateway and here we have to select the gateway off then debug. Yeah, it is disabled now. Debugging for IK is disabled. Debug ike global show yeah we as of now no nothing is running it means that any debug is not running on the palo alto so these debugs are required to perform the deep level of the troubleshootings 
So I will uh, post all these commands on the description of this video. You can refer it and you can utilize with your real scenarios also. So you, if required any deeper, deeper troubleshooting, then we can go with the debug of the Ike debug of the Palo Alto. There is a one more thing I can show you that we can access this using less command also, less MP log IKEMGR. We can do this also. So this is the original file of the IKMGR. So whatever transaction has been done stored on the IKMGR. So what earlier what I, I was doing, if I using tail follow as MP logs IKMGR dot log. So I am interested to the change in the file. Will that display on my screen? If I want to access the IKMGR full file, then we can access this way also. So anything we will type we can search here so this was the video related to the debugs of the i on the palo alto firewall i hope you enjoyed this video a lot if you enjoyed please like this video subscribe firewall experts for this type of knowledgeable videos thanks for watching firewall experts